What is up guys? Welcome back. This is kind of our new thing where I kind of check in with you at the end of the workout. So today I'm showing you guys the back workout that I've been doing. Absolutely love it. Four movements, strength, high intensity, really just going in and hammering our back. Also the music in the gym was much lower today. So I was able to chit chat with you guys a bit more. Let's just get right into the video. It is gloomy outside today. It is pouring rain. But honestly, those are some of my favorite days to go to the gym because it's usually always dead. I know it always looks like it's dead to you guys when I'm working out, but that's just a lot of strategic filming angles and coming at the right time of the day and the right days so that I'm not in people's way. Let me know if the weather affects you guys coming to the gym or not. I'm curious because I've always noticed that at any gym I've ever trained at, worked at, that whenever it is not like sunny and beautiful out, way less people at the gym. So right now I'm warming up. Today we have back day. I'm gonna show you guys my back workout I've been doing the last couple of weeks that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love it. Another thing is I feel like I can actually talk to you guys today because there's no loud music. I don't feel limited to how much I can speak because the audio is not gonna be messed up. All right, what am I doing? Oh wait. Also, you guys see how cute this is, this oversized hoodie? Don't sleep on the men's section. This is from Gymshark, but if you like oversized stuff, I do with like my jackets and my crew necks and all that. I love them to be super baggy and just overfit, just throw it on, kind of like a pump cover, or it's just more comfortable in general. Don't sleep on that section. I love it. All right, first up, we have chest supported back row. So I'm using this machine to do it. If your gym does not have something like this, you can just do a standard seated row. Most gyms have that, so you could just use that instead. Or a cable kneeling row, whatever you have access to. I just absolutely love this machine. But for this, we're doing a 15, 12, 10, 8, a pretty standard pyramid scheme. I've been enjoying higher volume on my back days recently, so I've been taking the reps up just a little bit and starting with 15. Notice how in I'm keeping my elbow to my body. I'm not flaring it out, it's in and engaged. And notice when I come to the bottom, I'm keeping my lat engaged, but I'm getting as much of a stretch as I can in it. I'm not rolling forward and letting go of that tension off of my back. So you wanna keep your lat engaged, let it stretch as far as it can for full round. Pull it back and down. I have no idea how many reps I did on that side. I think it was 15. <laughs> That's the first set. You got three more. Next up, we have closed grip pull downs. If your gym doesn't have this attachment, you can use a rope, you can use a closed V-bar, whatever your gym has. My gym has this and I love this. So we are doing bent over dumbbell rows, 
12108. The thing that made the biggest difference in my back training was targeting my back in varying angles so you can really get every little part of your back because every angle does a little bit of a different emphasis on your back. I just finished a set, so I might be a little winded, but I did just wanna let you guys know about dumbbell rows, give you some tips real quick. I'm using this to stabilize myself. I'm gonna get in position. The wider the stance, the more stability you're gonna have. You just gotta kind of mess around with what feels good to you. Again, with keeping our lat engaged, you want that full stretch in the bottom of your lat while still keeping it intact. So you don't wanna overly release that lat tension by letting your shoulder overly extend forward. So, Keep that back and as far as you can stretch and pull up. And with a row, you're rowing at an angle. So bring that dumbbell toward your hip. So it's not like this, it's back, hold it like that. Last exercise is a straight arm pull down. I'm using a rope attachment and I like to step a little ways back so that my arms can fully stretch. You wanna be slightly hinged over. That's what's going to help counterbalance you pulling the weight. And the idea is to get a full stretch in your lat at the top, bring it down and get a full squeeze and back up. Alrighty guys, that was back day complete. So we did four movements, challenging weight, a little bit of higher volume, really keeping that intensity high. You will notice that I didn't do anything to target my lower back and that is because I have three lower body days a week. I do a lot of hinging movements, a lot of movements that are very taxing on my lower back. So it's not necessary at all for me personally to incorporate that in on my back day. If I was somebody who didn't do so many lower body movements that really incorporated a lot of my lower back, then I would probably implement something on my back day but since I don't feel it's necessary I just kind of skip that so do with that information what you will but that was today's workout really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more workouts like this also anything else you need to know can be found in the description box below and thanks guys I'll see you in the next one